Yo, what's up everyone? Kiros here, and uh, this should be a pretty short and sweet video, but uh, as most people have had, I've had a ton of issues with that NVIDIA DLSS. Uh, I finally found a fix for me that was able to uh, resolve the issues, and as I'm flashing on screen, I tested this in many different areas. We tested this in Vera, we tested this in Aspera, I tested this down in Abyss, I tested it in Meoria, we tested it in a lot of different uh, locations. And I've been running this for about a week now just to make sure I didn't get any crashes. So I just want to share that fix with you real quick. If you guys can't hit that like and subscribe, let's get started. All right, let's talk about the DLSS. Uh, also, if you're wondering why my game is a little bit more vibrant than normal, I'm going to show you an additional graphics hack if you're on an NVIDIA user. You can also do this on AMD. I just don't have an AMD to be able to show you directly. So... Um, as you guys know, uh, if you go into the settings here and go down to display, that DLSS has a problem where it causes a memory leak and causes your memory to go out of control. Now, there's a very simple fix to this, or at least a fix for me. So I quickly want to just give you uh, the disclaimer. Kuros will not be held responsible for any damage done. And this is your own doing. And if you're not comfortable doing this, definitely don't do it. Okay, now that we got the disclaimer out of the way, um, here's what we're going to do. All right, so first things first, you're gonna to wanna to go download NVIDIA's DLSS DLL. Now I get mine from techpowerup.com. It's a very vetted website and um, I've never had a problem with them. But once again, you should always scan everything you ever download just to be safe. Now, one thing I do wanna point out is that you wanna make sure you do not download NVIDIA DLSS 1.0 or any version like that, or uh, DLS 3.0 if that is available. Uh, I think it is on newer graphics cards. So when you type in the Google search, it says to NVIDIA DLSS download 2.0. As you'll see here, there's many different versions. Just grab the newest version. That's what I did, 2.4.13. You download the zip file and then you'll open it up. All right, so make sure your game is closed and make sure the game is also closed in uh, the taskbar. So make sure you right click that, close the game, yada, yada, yada. Now we have our zip file of our DLSS. All you gotta do is control C and copy that out of there. And then you're gonna to wanna to go and essentially paste it in somewhere else. So I'm gonna to go to my Tower of Fantasy uh, global account, go all the way into Tower of Fantasy, go to, uh, now I forgot. Oh, go to Engine, go to Plugins, go to Runtime, go to NVIDIA, go to DLSS, go to Binaries, go to Third Party, go to Win64, and there you're gonna see that DLSS. Now, just to be safe, what I would do is I would copy this to your desktop just to make sure that you have a backup just in case you need it to um, transfer it over. But then you can copy this new DLSS into the folder. Once you do it, you should be off to the races that you can go back into the game and you can go back into the game and you can turn on and off that DLSS. And now once again, I've been running this for a week. I've had zero crashes in all the areas I used to have crashes in, which was very, very good. Uh, so, uh, just a quick little hack on, uh, I get questions all the time saying, Hey, curious, how does your game look so good? Now it's mainly an NVIDIA thing that makes, you can make the game look a, a lot better with one simple setting. You could do it on AMD too, but I want to show you just quickly. You can see here, you see this road is very, very red. If I was to turn the setting back down to normal, you could see, this is what the game normally looks like pretty and, and which is good right like and there's there's nothing wrong with um the way that this looks it's a it's a more muted uh dull um style of um game but what you can do is in the nvidia control panel you can go to a setting called vibrance digital vibrance and i use this for other games too now in amd you can turn up the saturation but saturation turns up everything and it doesn't look quite the same. Digital Vibrance takes muted colors and makes them stronger. So if I if I put this over to the side here, right, and we jack this, start bringing this up, you can see the colors getting a lot brighter. Now, I think 100% is way too crazy. You can see my hair and everything like that. 50% is where you normally are. I take it to about 75 to 80%. That's where I like to keep it. And it makes the game just look a ton, ton better. Um, a, a lot more vibrant, a lot more colorful, a lot more in your face. And I personally like it. And I think it makes my costumes and everything look a lot better. So anyways, guys, hopefully that helps you out. Um, it might not, it might, it might, it might help you out. I don't know. If you guys can hit, uh, hit me up in the comments down below if it did work, if it didn't work and, uh, make sure you like, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next live stream 
But if you haven't checked me out on twitch.tv or your, our YouTube live streams, come check us out. I'd love to see you. And uh, I'll see you next time. This bump from me to you.